you're actually meeting another Bates couple for their pregnancy announcement. Tiff, can you believe I'm it? I'm so excited. We're getting more meat. Baby Bates. And more baby Bates. Not only that, I'm so excited. we're going to do you a couples q and a vibe is absolutely epic let's meet the happy couple get to couples baby q and a Welcome to Baby Bates at the beach. Uh, guys, we're getting our fun in the sun now because those last few months of pregnancy, you're not supposed to travel a ton. You want to be kind of close to your OB and getting into that nesting phase. Tiffany's already mentally preparing for that. The garage. <laughs> what she means by the garage is not she's having the baby in the garage, but that the garage needs clean. So that is actually on me and I am going to do my best to fix that and make it great. Right now we are heading down this little walkway to the beach because we are actually meeting another Bates couple who were doing a photo shoot for their pregnancy announcement. Tiff, can you believe I'm it? I'm so excited. We're getting more meat baby baits. More baby baits. Okay, we're giving you too many hints, but we're going to be there in a second, guys. Take these photos. Not only that, I'm so excited. we're going to do you a couples Q&A here at the beach. If you don't know where we are, you should guess. The vibe is absolutely epic. Okay, I'll tell you. Miami. Love this down here. Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. especially in this weather. Let's meet the happy couple. Take the announcement photos, which you're going to get the behind the scenes on and get to couples baby Q&A. I walk a lot slower now. <laughs> Tiff, how's that first sand hitting your toes feel? It feels so good. It's so warm. I grew up beach. Obviously, Florida and California are a lot different, but they're both equally beautiful, and I love the sand, so I wish I could live here all the time. <laughs> we'll just have to visit water every month to make sure we don't underappreciate it. Let's do this. Kenna, what are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. She just woke up. Nate, how's Kenna like in the beach? She likes the pool. That's uh -uh. her favorite. She's obsessed. She doesn't want to leave. Kenna, are you ready to have another nephew, right? No, it's not a nephew. It's a cousin. No. She's going to have a cousin. She's going to have a sibling. Oh, that's right. <laughs> a sibling too. Oh my stars. Yes, that. Are you ready I'm for talking about cousin? the this cousin. <laughs> this will be her cousin. That will be your cousin. I'm talking but Of course that she's going to be her sibling. This will be her sibling. Uh, how far along are you, Esther? 11 weeks tomorrow. That's further than I thought, guys. Oh my stars. Oh. Tiff, are you betting boy or girl for Esther and Nate? Oh my word. Okay. I love Kenna, so I would love another Kenna. <laughs> we don't know the gender yet, but put me down for team girl on this bet. For some reason, I think that this one is a girl. I do. We've got, I think it's a girl too. We've got great lighting, so let's start snapping pics of Yay. the happy couple, the kiddo, and the soon-to-be kiddo. To put them where you want them, we'll try some basic family ones first, and then we'll change it up. Can you go show okay, Tiffany? Stay there, stay there. Can you, you do, look at your sibling? Can you go show Tiffany? You, oh, go there show Tiffany. we go. Oh, 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 oh. hold it. Like, Listen, just, you get it? Hey, Kenna, let's come over here. Down next to her. Come over here, Kenna. Uh oh, she yeah. don't want a sibling. Oh, A 
Okay, guys, we've done our best here. We got some great shots. Kenna's not 100% in the mood for photography. So <laughs> we're going to the water because she's a water baby. Maybe a walk what? will help cheer her up. <laughs> Do you want to go to the water? Can I go to the water? She didn't get her she didn't get her full nap, Where's guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want dad. He's over oh, there. He's coming. There he goes. He'll come if back. If you smile better, then you say we... cheese. Cheese. Say cheese. You love cheese. <laughs> cheese. So maybe you cheese. can get some cheese when we're done. You're gonna have a sibling, Kenna. You can't even fathom this yay, yet. Yay, yay. Baby. Okay, Tiff, how's the photography going? It's going good. I'm definitely not gonna start a career in it, but if you're family and friends, I will do a discount. <laughs> Super special if it's your niece and nephew, and of course your brother in law and sister in law. So we love taking pictures when we can. Carlin and Evan and Lydia are always so gracious to take pictures, so we're trying to join their group. <laughs> we ain't on that level yet. We're just having fun. Yes. Hire and them. this Hire them first. <laughs> family that we're taking pictures of is cute enough, so we don't have to be perfect. Kenna's just gotta smile a teeny bit more and we'll be in business. Yeah. All right, we're on the beach. You can take your sandals off. Party. Okay guys, if you watched the episode where Tori and Aaron come to visit us at our house, Esther was pregnant then, she just didn't know. So that's crazy. To the water we go. <laughs> Tiff's got her tan. I've got my burn because that's what happens. Esther got her tan. Nate got his burn. Guys, I gotta get used to dad life. The baby's not here yet. Carrying a backpack around with a bunch of baby diapers. I guess that's as about close as you can get to dad life. Okay, Tiff, we got perfect lighting. Let's do this. are going good we're trying to cheer Kenna up she's not really in the mood for this so we figured a little water would work maybe dip her toes There's two in the water Tiff's drawing baby baits coming uh, so <laughs> that's cute she just wants a bottle she's done with pictures are you done Go in. Go bye bye. Do you want ice cream? Or cheese? <laughs> she does know how to say more than no, guys. Say ice cream. Yes. All right, guys, we're done. Yay! <laughs> well, I hope those turn out. I think they're gonna be great, guys. All right. Go, on, baby, baby. Let's go get something to eat. All right, all right, all right. Guys, we just went from the beautiful beach taking the most epic announcement photos for Nathan and Esther. But we thought it'd be cool while we're together. And since these are two of the upcoming Bates babies, we would answer some pregnancy, marriage, life questions for you guys. So these are the most interesting ones. Tiffany could find, and who knows, Nathan and Esther might even throw in a few more. <laughs> You're so, having twins, you guys. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We will ask him that question. But uh, Tiff's got us all queued up. She's going to start us off. Some of these are for everybody. Some of these are just for the pregnant ladies. We have no clue what these questions are, so I don't know if you're ready for these or not. We, we just have so much faith in Nathan Nestor's ability to answer on the fly with a great, <laughs> wise, thought out yeah. answer that they had 30 seconds to think out. If you ask me anything about airplanes, I'm ready to answer. Yes. Oh, we should ask We are going to talk about airplanes. airplanes. Yes, yeah. airplanes, fly, <laughs> what we're going to fly, what they're going right. to fly. Okay, let's get into it. First question in the baby questions list. The baby? When is your due date month? Tiff, you go, then Esther, you tell us. Okay. Tiff? I am summer in July, end of July, so I'm having a... July birthday's for the win. I'm a July birthday. Yeah. Esther, how about you? We're October again. October's our month. Kenna's oh, birthday's in October. Isn't that the wedding too? My birthday's in October. <laughs> our anniversary's in October. Nathan stack in oh, that man. month. I just like take the whole month of October off and we just celebrate. 
Except for this year, it's gonna be a baby month too. So <laughs> boy, you better get ready. Yeah. What number grandkid is this for you on mom and dad's side? My parents' side, is that what we're talking about? On mom's side and the dad's side. So what grandkid Ooh. is this for you, Esther? Okay, I have to figure it out. Oh my word. I don't know. know. <laughs> there's a lot in Esther's family. Esther, She's one of 13. It's number right? nine of 13, you guys. I think it's probably around 25, but it's somewhere sure. between 20 and 30. So big Esther's number. Family. Wow. Now and then for our family. I think um, y'all's babies, number 30. Yes. Yeah. Iris is gonna be Yay. number 31. Because Iris comes next. Isn't that crazy? You guys are so crazy. I'm sure there'll be a 32, 3, 4, 5. I was gonna say, someone else surprises so. us and says, like, I'm next. I don't know. They might be the 31 know. instead. <laughs> Get ready. Question three What are your pregnancy symptoms? The good and the bad. They already know mine. Tips are the answer. <laughs> she had them all. <laughs> I have pretty good pregnancies. I so last time I had some pretty bad food aversions and nausea for the first trimester, and then this this is similar in this pregnancy, but um, it's been different versions. So like okay. similar level of nausea, but like different food aversions. <laughs> last time it was steaks. Can't get around them. Can't smell them. Can't eat really? them. It's like the best food you oh, can I have. Oh, I couldn't go guys. to the steakhouse because it would make me sick. Like the smell. Was oh awful. no, Nathan. And Nathan. Coffee. Steak and coffee yeah. were the killers last time. And I can do them this. And time. she's like, normally a big yeah. coffee person, yeah. right? This time she yeah. can do coffee. She, she can do steak. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Wow. We've got another question because these are in the baby Q and A section. We're coming to the couple Q and A second, yeah. so hang in there. Question four. Wow. How are you prepping oh. this little lady? Because oh. the world revolves around her right now. She's gonna and that's about to change. I think she's going to love having a little sibling. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. She gets jealous. Yeah. She carries her little baby around with her Where's already. Baby? And baby. she puts it to sleep and she takes it to bed with her. And she likes to share her bottle with it. She's so. actually really well behaved already. So She's a great kid. I think she's yeah. great. Do you want to have a little sibling? Should we have a baby? Should we have a baby? baby? Where's the baby? baby? Where's the baby? Oh yeah, that's yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's so cute. What's the gender and if you don't know, like we don't think you do know yet, are you going to find out or wait Maybe till? We do. <laughs> I know, that's the problem. Surprise, they do. surprise. You're hearing it now guys, this is Nathan and Esther's gender on their second baby. <laughs> we are secretive people or sneaky Ooh, people. <laughs> They're very sneaky, sneaky people. people. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Secret is. Here's the answer. Okay. Okay. We're going to find out. Okay. Great. Can we Esther, come to the reveal? We don't know yet. Esther thinks for sure it's a girl, and we don't even need to do a gender reveal. I'm betting a thousand percent but it's another girl. I just can't imagine there's a good chance. Because we just have a girl. But it could. Be, <laughs> it could be a boy. It could be a girl. As of right now, we really don't know. Yeah. And we're waiting until we can do the ultrasound. Okay. Yeah. Big question here, because this is what I was hoping for when we were preparing and finding out. I thought twins. I wasn't sure. Uh, Tiffany's background, family history, of course, because of the adoption. So, ours is just one. Uno. But we're very so excited. Sometimes How about you guys? Sometimes twins hide, though, you guys. Did that happen to any of you guys? Like. Did any of your siblings or relatives yeah. have a twin, twins. surprisingly? We're not that twins. literally happened to my sister. She had twins in there. She didn't know it. And one was hiding like up under her rib and they couldn't tell. So you <laughs> have twins in, my twins in the family. Twins in the family. Her sister know? showed up at the hospital to deliver her baby. Shut and they said, oops, there's two. They had no clue. Their first child. They had no preparation for a second baby. Their first baby. two children. They just Are didn't they know. Seemed, yeah. Same gender. Wow. How did you find out you were pregnant? Oh. Were you expecting this? Okay, I was shocked. <laughs> um, Nathan was in the Philippines. And oh my word, the man wasn't even in the country. I was at my family's house in Pennsylvania. And um, I randomly took a test because I was like, I know I'm not pregnant, but I just have to confirm because I don't like the suspense. I'm like, I don't know if I'm pregnant. Like, I, I just can't take that. So I just took a test. <laughs> and it turned blue like right away. Like it was a solid line. And I was shocked. I, <laughs> I literally I went out Did to dinner at my family's house and I was like shaking and I was like trying not to tell anybody. <laughs> and um, so then Nathan was already sleeping because his time zone in Turkey. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't know where 
Turkey, Ukraine, the Philippines, Haiti. Philippines. Um, he was already sleeping. So the next day, we FaceTimed him, and, and uh, I gave her the pregnancy test, and she showed him on FaceTime. We were really shocked because we had had Kenna, mm -hmm. and then it had been almost a year and a half, yeah. and we hadn't had you know, any sign of a new baby. Yeah. And sometimes you wonder, is this our only one we're gonna get? Yeah. Or is God gonna give us another one? Another one. Uh, so, yeah. you know, some people, they just have another child right after, and some people, yeah. you never know. Yeah. So for us, we were kind of surprised when this baby came, because it had been a year and a half, and we thought, well, you never know if we're gonna get another one or not. <laughs> I know we have children, I'm so excited. I'm uh -huh. Kenna's favorite auntie. <laughs> Of course we called Lost and Tiffany almost right away. We were no. jumping up and down. Insane. Tiffany was screaming. She screams a lot when she gets good news. They're the funnest people to tell news to because they're so excited for we it. Get, we oh. get hyped. We are ready to party with anybody any day. If you watch our second video on this pregnancy, it was like baby's first heartbeat. You can see us calling Nathan and Esther. They were our second call. That's right. Right after his mom. So you can really Literally. <laughs> first sibling so to fun. know. We have a question that we got asked in our last Q&A. We're going to ask you, how many kids would you like to have? Do you have any number in mind? Or is it just totally whatever happens? Mm. Right now, we like to have this one, <laughs> and you know, we're gonna have this. One. We're gonna like to have this other one, yeah. <laughs> and if God gives us some more, that'd be great. We'd like them too, and we're not opposed to adopting some one day either. So <laughs> okay, we'll see. But there's not like a magic number. Sure. Yeah, we're just sure. kind of seeing. I do have this to say though. I was number five, <laughs> so I'm really glad my parents didn't stop at four, which was lost. Awesome. Esther was number nine. <laughs> the world is really happy that her parents didn't stop at eight, or else we wouldn't have Esther. So, you never know. Wow. They'll at least have nine kids. <laughs> we, <laughs> they'll, <laughs> they'll mark off five and we nine. We shall see. I don't think so. I think the ultimate takeaway is every life is precious. Life is not just happenstance. It's a gift from God. And when you view it that way, it just embeds in you the value structure. Humanity, that's what God gave his son for, to come and die for us, to redeem us. That's how much he loves us. And that tells you a little bit about the value that he puts on life. So I think we should do our best to put the highest value on every life. Agreed, 100%. Okay, this is a big question, and I was actually, we got to ask everybody this question, <laughs> because this is big time right here. Ooh. Now that you're on baby two, do you plan to move closer to Rocky Top, Pennsylvania, or are you going to keep rolling with the RV life? Yeah. Are you mm. going to buy a piece of property and settle down and build in Arkansas? What is on your agenda? Baby big two question. is coming. That's a big change. Yeah. Space-wise. The answer is yes. Yay! Which you're gonna buy a house in Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Arkansas? Hopefully. Oh no. Expound. So we are really happy with RV life right now, I love and it. with it Kenna, is so fun, you guys. Like we have a best we have a two bedroom RV. So Kenna has her own room. We have our own space. There's an additional loft for storage, and it's like the biggest RV you can get. It's so nice. we Super really do cool. like the RV life and the yeah. flexibility and just the fun of it. But we will be settling down. We're looking for property in Arkansas to probably like build a dream home eventually. But we're not in a huge hurry to do that. We don't have a timeline if we have to do it by this date. Sure. Also, it would be nice to have a way to be close to mom and dad more often sure. and the family. So because we can fly, we get to travel. So the airplane is kind of our keep us closer to home. It's your X factor. Yeah. So right now we can get to Tennessee in two hours and we can get to Pennsylvania in three and a half. So the two hours to Tennessee and the three and a half, actually driving a car, it takes 12 hours to Tennessee and it mm -hmm. takes 20 hours so to long. Pennsylvania. So the airplane is really what helps us make up the distance oh. with the houses. <laughs> If, if there How is any kind of a medicine, lint stick, chapstick, Kenna can open it. Childproof does not exist with her. 
She, She's so strong. She is so smart. I knew Nathan was going <laughs> to slip in the airplanes in there somehow. So, guys... I mean, when it comes to knowing your planes. Right now, the airplanes are our second home. <laughs> <laughs> home in the sky. Another question. Oh, that's a question for us, too. With baby coming, are we thinking, spend a little more time in California, get closer to Rocky Top, bring the in-laws over here, a little bit of both? What are your thoughts on that? If you haven't noticed, we travel a lot, and it's such a blessing, and it's so fun for us, just like Nathan and Esther. Um, she was, her family's on the East Coast, mine's on the West Coast, and the boys are kind of like in the middle of the state. We like them both. And so we find a way to always go home. We got our camper, which you can see. And so honestly, I mean, we're open to anything. Like I, we're not really, I mean, of course, Tennessee's our main home, but I feel like- We're not locked we're in. We're not locked in it. So there could, mm. there could be anything. We're open to anything. <laughs> That's right. We're moving and grooving. You only live once. Make the most of it. See as much as you can. Question 10. We already answered this snake, so it's yeah. for you guys. What are you feeling with this baby? We came when this one was born. Yeah. We all had a great experience in Arkansas. Home birth, hospital birth. What is it for you? What do you feel most comfortable with? Camper birth. Definitely <laughs> <laughs> camper birth. Camper birth. birth. I want to be at a really good hospital with access to emergency services. Mm -hmm. Hopefully everything goes great like it did with Kenna. Yeah. And we have I a know. really good hospital, a really good doctor that we love. Yeah. Mm. Um, so yeah, we may do like a low intervention room we're kind of considering, um, or we may just do the epidural again like we did with Kenna because it was a great experience. <laughs> Nathan's like, give that lady everything she needs. It's painful. I say, Esther, take anything they'll give you. <laughs> like, we want to have the greatest experience yeah. and like, you know, different people try different ways. But I just don't want to see Esther in pain. She well, can handle it, but I Sometimes you gotta take a little bit of pain for the better mm. recovery after. Mm. So it's whatever. <laughs> Comfortability. What do you think she yeah. should do? Vote below and she will do that. No, I don't think she's going to go off the boat. <laughs> well, it's hard to think. Kenna's delivery. Esther was, was so like good. the most magical mother. Oh like, Lord, everything right. was perfect. <laughs> like, she showed up in the morning in labor at five centimeters. Everything went really She got a great well. epidural. The doctor was perfect. The hospital was amazing. Baby came right in the afternoon after lunch. Oh, that's perfect. And time. Esther was just yeah. like a magical princess, just delivering this perfect child. And like everybody in the hospital had to come see. It was like we were having like royalty or something. I so the hospital, you guys it's hard to not want to do it that. again, just they like the last time. They were actually coming in for the party because Nathan was really fun. <laughs> we we <laughs> had to drive, we heard that they were having the baby, and we had to drive all the way from Tennessee just to be there yeah, in time to meet it. Came. His parents came. It was Everybody so much came. fun. Here's your the little baby thing. flashback to Kenna. We'll have to get you a new one in October when the sibling arrives. And by that time, this little baby will be here too. So there will be three new baits to meet. Do you have a short list of names? Have you even thought about it? Do you have gender nope. names for both? <laughs> Nothing. 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 We got no names. Okay. We can't help you there. Okay. Maybe we but if you tell us a good name, we might steal it. Okay. Maybe we find out well, William and Lawson are both good names if it's a boy. Oh, uh, those yeah. are great. <laughs> Kenneth and Nathaniel are great names for a boy. Mm. We have a Kenneth. You don't have Esther yet. No Esther. Kenneth. I would love. Esther's my favorite name. I would name every girl we had <laughs> Esther if she was. Esther one. She's such a great name. I'd be like George Foreman. George this Foreman is my son Arnold George and this is my son Arnold. <laughs> Question one for the couples. Esther, you answer this first. What does an ideal date night look like for you? Ooh. Our Valentine's date was pretty epic. Oh, tell, okay, yeah. So tell, okay, listen to this Valentine's Day. It was amazing. I wanted to surprise Esther, so I didn't tell her anything or have anything planned for her. So I just kind of played it down, hey, we'll go to dinner, we'll just do something. But I didn't make it out like, this is the greatest day. We started out and there was another couple with us that we were gonna start the date with and do a quick double date. We both got our own helicopters. Oh my word. We drove to the airport. Perks and of pilot life. 
we, me and Esther got in our helicopter. Helicopters are my other couple got in their helicopter. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> and we took off and we flew in formation together and we landed at this one restaurant where we had appetizers already made oh and prepared. Word. I'm not telling and my day. So nice, you guys. Oh, it was so good. This this amazing restaurant. And then we loaded them up and then we took off from there. We went and landed on this river, on this sandbar, this little island. Oh, nice. And then we parked and that's where we had our appetizers and watched the sunset. And then we lifted off again from there and the other couple went and did their own thing. And then Esther loves Italian food. So we went to this Italian restaurant that had prepared this one room that was just for us. And it was full of like decorations and balloons and roses. And it had like 14 courses to the meal and it was incredible. From there, we flew back, put the helicopter away and went home. And I had one of the couple, one of the guys that works for me, him and his wife, did their day earlier. And so the nighttime, they had went and decorated our whole house with wow. like roses and streamers and blooms yeah, and wow. like yes. red lighting around the edges of the place ah. and charcuterie boards and like it was so epic. So we had our own little special time at home together before we finally got our kid back. So that was a great day. That probably would be like my perfect day. Gift. <laughs> oh, but we did of course have some surprise gifts because it's Valentine's Day. You gotta have gifts. That's right, Tiffany. And last year, Nathan was in Turkey for Valentine's Day. Oh, see, True. so oh. yes, the helicopter thing was a makeup for the last <laughs> Valentine's <laughs> Day. I had the greatest date for Valentine's Day. Wow. That you is gotta great. go overboard when you get a girl like this. You got to. Yeah. You got to. Tiff, ideal date night. Put it back or date day. Oh, man. Ooh. I love just like being outside in the sun. Anything I feel in like nature. Anything like warm with no mosquitoes. Like I feel like I'm just describing the perfect weather. <laughs> 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 I love it. Like, oh, and something from like Miss Congeniality where they're like, what is the perfect age? She's like April 26th, not too light, not too cold. <laughs> 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 That's what I feel like. We're so blessed to do so many adventures together that it just Every day is like a date day with Lawson. No. I get to be Lawson Bates, guys. Stop it. <laughs> She's being nice, but I do think that all of our best dates are planned around some kind of either history or travel, whether it's one of our earlier dates was we just took bikes around Mission Bay in California and Tiff had a little picnic and we stopped and set out a, a what are those things? A hammock. And it was just really, really special, but anything to do with nature, we love to get out and do stuff. Of course, we love a really nice restaurant, but we would probably trade the nice yeah. restaurant for an experience outside. They love our Every time. <laughs> Nathan will go to the steakhouse and we will go to the pond. And so. we will take the steak to the pond. <laughs> I will That's say so this. Fun. Tiffany said every day is like a date night. That's a fact. When you have no kids, every day <laughs> is a date night. <laughs> you just wait. Oh, when you have a kid, Getting a date night. Starbucks is a huge ordeal. Yeah. Yeah. If we ever run anywhere, like, I don't know. We if we just Walmart. Like, yeah. Literally, if we leave Kenna <laughs> and we just get to go somewhere without her, That's true. like, everywhere's a date. Like, yeah. we could go take the trash off and it would be a date. Jeez. She's spitting the string cheese, guys. Okay. Very deep question. Answer this how you like in the simplest terms possible. Oh. Oh, that's good. What does yeah. a successful relationship look like to you? I think for us, like success is when you're both open and honest about everything and you both get so close that you know everything about each other and you run to each other for problems to solve things. You find your comfort in each other. You find your happiness in each other. The closer you can try to get the two of you to become one person, mm -hmm. that's what success is for us. Yeah, and it takes sometimes like hard conversations and stuff like to sure. just basically do whatever it takes to stay close because little things can come between you so easily if you let it yeah. and it'll just build up and you'll become farther and farther apart. Something really funny that Nathan said and it wasn't intended to be funny, my brain just goes, he goes, you run to each other for problems, but then, uh -huh. but then, but then he said, run to each other for problem solving, yes. <laughs> but my brain just said, run to each other for problems. Run to like, create a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to add a tiny bit onto what Nathan was saying, 
I heard someone share once about love that to be able to give love the way God designed us to give love, you need to have received that love. And as believers, we've received His love through salvation. And when our hearts and minds are clean and pure and our motives are correct, we can really give that love to others. So I think that's one of the keys to a successful relationship. What did your first heartbreak teach you? <laughs> Who wants to go first? first mm. You don't have to tell how oh, old you boy. were. Okay. What did your first heartbreak that's teach you? Oh, Esther's got some good ones. <laughs> you learn a lot like from every relationship. Woo. I don't know. Even if we have like some like regrets or like relationships that didn't work out or whatever, it all got us to where we are and sure. now we have a great relationship. Right. Uh -huh. Together. Yeah, and so you took away something from it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We learned so much. I feel like both of us. I feel like my first heartbreak um, taught me how to communicate for one, mm -hmm. and for two, it taught me how to appreciate someone else's wishes and goals mm -hmm. and what their future is. Sometimes after you go through heartbreak, you look back and you reflect on like, yeah. oh, why or how or what can I do different or what do I need to improve on. And I think your first relationship, you go into it with all your expectations. Mm -hmm. You have all of That's your goals, like this sure. is what I'm looking for in a spouse, this is what I'm looking for in a partner. I want this to be part of my future, or I want my spouse to have this certain quality. And successful relationships, you try to find out what your spouse's goals are, mm -hmm. and find out how to become those. First heartbreak, moving on to okay. Tiffany. I feel like there are two things. One, of course, what Nate said. I feel like for me, it's making sure, like, and I know that you hear this a lot, but like, another person does not complete you. So mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes when you try to seek relationship, like validation in who you are, then you start losing the things that you love or you're interested sure. in because you're trying to almost conform to what they want versus like, mm -hmm. oh, this is who I am, this is who you are, like, appreciating okay. those differences, kind of like what Nathan said like what are your goals like how can we work towards it together versus like your goals are more important or mine so I guess my first uh, was trash honestly I could have gone with that like I know Esther so why she's like oh all of that love that's me I'll learn and but I'm honestly just like it was like trash it's, <laughs> moving on it's trash and I'm like I'm like you know what I I was probably so I <laughs> I reduced myself so much, and I'm not doing that again. <laughs> so I'm like, and then she picked wow. me. Oh no, it's trash. <laughs> oh, you did good. But like, you're better off. I hope. I'm way better off. Okay. Lawson, Lawson. <laughs> first heartbreak. <laughs> what did I learn they from? They chose you guys. How far do you want to go back? Like the first, first, first heartbreak. Oh yeah. So okay, way between back. Your first girlfriend between your hundredth girlfriend. He's like, how <laughs> okay, okay. many? We'll go way back. And wait, wait. Is... Are we going to use names? <laughs> no, we're not using names. <laughs> Guys, these are the list. You won't. Okay, you won't know them. Okay. So. Guess who Lawson's girlfriend is? Comment below. <laughs> Tiffany girlfriend. for life. First heartbreak. What I learned from it. I'm a firm believer that what you are is what you're gonna attract around you. So, if you're just spending your life chasing instead of becoming that person that you want and being that better version of yourself, then it's always gonna be a struggle. But if you really just zone in on, hey. I'm going to become a more skilled person, a better communicator, a better learner, and just a better listener, mm -hmm. then I really think you're going to start attracting uh, what you're hoping for. So that's yeah. probably if what I learned want, the most from If you want a 10, you have to be a 10 too. That's mm. right. If you're shopping at the Dollar General, Which then, you don't, pay. I shop then don't the expect <laughs> to get something from yeah. Express. The relationships that I look up to that are very successful, each person feels like I'm very blessed and fortunate to be with this person. I could have never done better. And the other person feels that way also. Oh. Mm. And I think if you end up in a scenario where one person's like, okay, I'm going to settle for them. And they're like, Don't do you it, know, guys. they'll probably be a safe mm -hmm. bet for me to settle with. Don't yeah. Then that's not going to be a power couple. That's yeah. right. No. That's right. You really need to believe. I know there's no world I could have ever done better than Esther. Esther's like, amazing, guys. <laughs> like, I could come back a few She's different amazing. lives and never do better than Esther. No, but Nathan made me a different person than I was when I met him. And like, it's, it's growth together. Yeah. Because you're not going to be the same person when you met. It's learning, growing yeah. together, and being willing to commit 110% to loving and giving even when things 
aren't perfect. Okay, let's move away from the heartbreak. What was your dream job as a kid? This is just a quick one. Mm. I always wanted to be some kind of superhero. <laughs> and Perfect! <laughs> like, but not like the fake ones. I wanted to be some type of realistic superhero. That would always have been my dream Help job. Help people in need. And that's what he's doing. Yeah. Flying yeah. exactly. in a helicopter and take them to a hospital, stuff like that. I'm trying my best <laughs> to live my dreams. <laughs> Esther, did you have dream job when you were a kid? You know, I love working with people. My restaurant I worked at was so much fun. And I don't know, I honestly like, Future I restaurant did, owner. But I didn't really have like, you know, a dream. Okay. Job. Tiff, dream job. I think I just like veterinarian. Anything with animals. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I was a little oh, wow. girl, I just wow. loved it. I think I knew that. Yeah. Wow. Anything. I no, I just thought with animals. you were great with animals. Most people say I dream of being an actress. Oh. Tiff is an actress. She says I dream of being a veterinarian. And I don't know. I just, you know. I always loved animals. I always dreamed of being a cowboy. Toby <laughs> Keith said he should have been a cowboy like Gene and Roy. Uh, I should have been a cowboy like Gene and Roy, so that was 100% my dream. And Roy Rogers was my dream cowboy to be like. Mm. And his dream, instead of being a cowboy and an actor, was to be a veterinarian. So, no way. Like, really? Yes, he wanted to be a vet uh, when he was a kid. So, now you know. Happiest memory that you can share as your new family. You had the greatest honeymoon you could have ever imagined. And that was probably our, my greatest memory that we've had together. Yeah, no, Listen, you can make money for the rest of your life. They make new money every day. You can only go on your honeymoon one time. So and that's our greatest memory. And like years later, we still feel that way. Tip, greatest memory as a couple. Oh man, we've had so many good memories. You see our Montana video, that was so fun. Was we went really to Boston, that was really fun. You can see that video. I mean, we try to film as many as we can, so when we're as old and senile, we can watch them. Mm -hmm. We don't plan <laughs> on doing that anytime we soon. Don't plan on doing that anytime soon. We're gonna close it with a question from us to you, <laughs> and you're telling the audience, but you're really telling us. Mm -hmm. You have a child, you have a child on the way, what's the best parented advice so far that you can give uh, to us and to the other folk? We got no advice. <laughs> we got Come no on, advice. Something. You'll figure it out. Tip. Wisdom. Alright, here's a few tips. Kenna was a very difficult newborn. <laughs> she was up five or six Mom. times every night for the first year. Okay. So, while you have time right now, value all the sleep you can. <laughs> like, like, because this is the greatest time in your okay. life. You can sleep in any time you want to. <laughs> you can go to bed anytime you want to. Like, this is the last time you'll be able to do that between now and when the baby comes. Oh, yeah. But kids are amazing. There are so baby many special is moments. It's so different, too. True. Like, some newborns just sleep all the time. And then, but our newborn but stage was wasn't the that. hottest stage for us, and she's gotten easier and easier. The, the older she gets, gets, the more fun she is. She's a little hot. <laughs> Yay! You're so fun. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the Beach Q&A. We're going to sign off from Miami, Florida. More big things to come. Base number 30 to 31 are right here with us of the grandkids. And so we will see you next time. I don't know. Boys are interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that out, okay? So, uh, <laughs> you know who you are. Shout out to our... Whoa, she's walking around him, okay? Let's sign out of here, guys. Kenna, do, do, <laughs> Kenna, do you want to tell him bye? Do you, you want to wave bye? Bye. Bye. bye? bye. Do you want to wave bye? Say bye. bye. Can we say bye? Signing off from bye. Miami, Florida. We had a blast. We hope you did. Let us know if bye. we didn't answer something you wanted to know. We might get to it later, and we'll see you soon with the new babies when they arrive. Yes. Bye. bye. Give me a five. She's so cute, okay? Over yeah, and out. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go eat.